Storytelling has been a powerful communications tool throughout history. The drive seems to be hardwired into the human brain. Today, foresight practitioners and futures researchers leverage the art of narrative and systems thinking to connect the dots between alternative futures and strategic conversations. Scenarios differ from science fiction because they are structured explorations of multiple plausible alternative futures. This video explains the thinking behind scenario creation so that you will be one step ahead if you find yourself doing it in a workshop setting. I'm Martin Richards. I am Zainab Yasin. And we're Futures Researchers. And we are based at the Finland Futures Research Center. The term scenario in future studies traces its origin to script writing for film and theater. It refers to the tensions in a given situation that might give rise to dramatic tension. It is concerned with the plot in terms of the story so far, or how did we reach this future? It is also concerned with the dramatic personas, the focal issues around which events unfold. We can also take this analogy a step further and point to consideration of the stage, the terrain of the action. Scenario planning traces a familiar evolution from 19th century wargaming through to the nuclear scenarios of the Rand think tank in the 1950s. But in the 1970s, Pierwak would apply scenario planning methods to great effect at the oil giant Shell. Employing the method in its more contemporary form to identify divergent, distinct, alternative future images. Using these to start a strategic conversation in the company allowed the organization to adapt quickly during the oil crisis of the 70s, catapulting scenario planning into the pages of business research handbooks and the popular awareness. Why scenarios? Scenarios help us to foster a strategic conversation by systematically exploring the implications of a strategy or policy across multiple different futures, each with different conditions. These conditions are typically based on the key continuities or discontinuities that matter most when making a particular decision. The distinct logics of each scenario can then be used to stress test or wind tunnel that strategy. Scenarios are not plucked from thin air. Scenarios were traditionally developed by a team of experts over many months to reflect the strategic question under consideration and to reflect plausible evolution of the operating environment. However, in recent decades, participatory scenarios techniques involve stakeholders in scenario creation processes. This adds validity to the scenarios and broadens their utility as communication tools. We will not show you how to make scenarios in this video. That needs a course all to itself. We will instead present a simple example of how it might be used in a participatory process. To that end, we will use the four generic scenarios identified by Jim Data. They are named Growth, Collapse, Discipline, and Transformation. We will use the focal question should I pursue advanced studies in a world of AI? What implications might it have for my career after graduation? Scenario 1. Growth. Silicon ceiling. AI is more effective than humans at advanced studies. In this world, AI tutors outmatch professors. Papers are co-written with large language models, and intellectual competition hinges on prompt engineering and insight curation. Degrees are often earned faster with AI support. Scenario 2. Collapse. Broken code. AI is considered untrustworthy. This future is scarred by scandals, manipulated research, fake citations, deep fakes in academia, and epistemological breakdown. 
AI is banned or deeply distrusted. Scenario 3. Discipline. Ivory cage. AI use is closely regulated and limited. In this scenario, AI tools are licensed like pharmaceuticals. Students must log their use, pass AI-free exams, and engage in regular ethics reviews. Universities adapt slowly, emphasizing human originality and compliant AI. Scenario 4. Transformative. By hand, by heart, by code. To work with AI or at all, you must master the human craft first. This is a return to the source future. AI is not forbidden, but it's considered meaningless unless you can first do the task yourself. Writing, coding, theorizing must be learned pre-AI, then amplified through it. Each scenario invites a different answer to the strategic question, even if it always begins with yes. The nuances of each set of conditions invites deeper discussion through the lens of alternative perspectives. Though, of course, all the futures in these scenarios have a common frame, the anticipatory assumptions of the present moment. In conclusion, scenarios are a core method of anticipation. Their use has proliferated into many different disciplines. So care must be taken in clarifying expectations when using the method. Nevertheless, telling stories about futures is powerful and can act as linkage points for diverse ideas. Bringing these stories to life with plausible detail can help to evoke that feeling of difference that the future may bring, which opens space for a more nuanced and strategic conversation. This brings us to the end of Season 1 of the Foresight Starter Set. Thank you for joining us in these videos. We hope they have been as enjoyable to watch as they were to make. You have been watching an Eye of Europe broadcast.